Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to show you how we make uh, this. I have been showing you this um, African basket or bucket. I shown you in the wedding when they were giving gifts, they were giving this. And I have been showing you when I'm in the village, I'm like, this is our bucket. So I just want to show you how we make this bucket okay we make this bucket from this this are uh, the palm tree so what we do is we cut off this okay we cut off this thing here this is the stuff that we use i don't know if this knife is we cut off this thing these are the things that we cut off and what we do is we we actually remove if you see if you come closer there are these things that will like pinch you you take this you remove it like this you remove it ah, like this then you actually cut off these layers this one then we actually cut off these layers okay we cut off everything this layer out you remove it cut off those layers then you remain with this what we do with this you take it into the sun then it change it will change the color so i will show you how when we put this in the sun after we put in the sun how it change the color okay okay with this palm tree if you want it to bear fruits you have to cut it properly like cutting off all these things for it to grow taller when it's grow taller then it's bear fruits okay but if you don't want it to bear fruits and just to become a bush like this you just leave it like that you don't like cut this stuff if you don't cut this stuff it will just be like that okay Okay, my ladies and gentlemen, this is how the leaf look like when they get dry. What you have to do is you remove those um, those edges that I was removing. For this one, they let it dry without removing those edges. Now she's just trying to remove the edges. Then the leaf look like that when it's dry. And what you do with that leaf, you... You kind of spread it in smaller section with the needle to have those smaller section leaves. Those ones that are on my lap. Can you guys see it? Let me those ones. Okay. Those ones that are moving. We spread it in smaller section. Okay. Like that so i will show you on the later stage what we use those section for and you guys remember the things that are having like sticking like throne small throne we use it to make a broom that is a traditional broom because they are very hard if you want you can use it though but if you don't want you can just make your own traditional broom okay so the other leaves that i was showing you that one you actually put it in water you you boil water in hot water boiling water then you put it in let me just tell you some important thing when you boil water you put those leaves in water you remove them 
the reason being is just for them to get softer and for them not to break when you remove it from the water make sure that you remove ev like the water all the water is out before you put it in a container and container like that if you don't remove the water properly they will become rotten but if you remove them properly they will become they will just stay like this smooth and just make sure that you close your container very well so ladies and gentlemen let's begin the process how to fold in order for us to start weaving our basket that is the first step did you guys see okay she restart okay let her restart it those are two leaves okay that we took from the container when we boil it they remain smooth there and then she start folding it so i'll just let you see how she she's doing it okay just look how she's doing it like that then she start pulling the other side like that if you didn't see properly you can just put it on slow motion then you see how she fold that like that did you guys see then she turn it around then she does the same process that she did when she folded at the beginning going that side then going this side start moving the edges okay bam you see how it looks you see how it looks like that then she's done folding like that you see how it is hope you guys saw then she take a needle then she start dividing those uh, leaf section into splitting into smaller section like that then she she take those are uh, thing those leaves she she took them from that bucket okay that close i cannot call it a tin it's a small container then she put that leaf is smooth it won't break because it was close on that bucket and we boil it remember guys hey then we start weaving i'm telling you people it's so difficult to explain traditional thing and put it in english only i have large audience that they don't speak english so <laughs> i'm trying my best guys but i hope you guys will get the point then we start weaving we start weaving <laughs> people rate me uh, to 10 how good is my explanation can i be a good teacher <laughs> goodness write me up to tell guys am i good at teaching people then you start weaving weaving just continue weaving weaving like that at some point you will start adding those uh, smaller section i'll show you now You see the section that the thing that we were cutting she will edit in between remember those things that she she's adding in between we just remove those leaves dry them in the sun and then we split it into section but the thing that is having that big needle remember I told you we boil we boil hot water and then we put them in the hot water okay I hope you guys you remember that so that is how far our thing is look how it look like I see her progress how she did it so that is the start 
when she starts weaving then she just continue weaving weaving and weaving this weaving actually take a, a lot of time you see how she does it beautiful isn't it beautiful guys let me know talented people man beautiful beautiful beyond so i want to show you how she added another thing when the other thing is done how she added another one i think i missed that we're supposed to let her repeat it i was sleeping sleeping on duty linekela how can you let people not see man okay then she continue weaving just like that until it grow you can actually control that thing you can bend it to control it you can con you can make a larger section or smaller thing you can control it by bending it or okay so the uh, second step that i want to show you is do, do you guys see the pattern like like those pattern let me show you like those pattern like that i want to show you how you like we dye our our uh, our leaf okay let me show you how we do it how we make those um palm leaves how we turn that leaves into a different color okay so what i do is i go to a tree called um omve that is on the tree and then i start i go into its stem and then i start digging like going to the roots and then i take those cover can you see those cover of the stem is the cover that i take only that i dig into the ground to take those kanda not underground they are not far those dry one is the one that i want is the one that we used to dry to to change the color of our of our leaf how do you call that leaf of the palm tree in english guys help me out i also want you to engage with me so if you know just comment down below i take those those cover there can you guys see it let me show you those are the things that i was removing from digging just under them so i take those things into the house let me go show you in the house i i prepare those things let me go show you come along with your girl with your girl that is our village house in the northern part of namibia let me take you into the house that is the kitchen section my brother was asking what is in the plate he thought i was carrying food then i just started explaining to him then he said oh okay because everybody knows if you see we are going to dye those to change color for those leaf people know in the north if you don't know now you know okay i take those things that i was removing now i'm, I'm looking for charcoal that's my kitchen there that's my stove three stones if you find three things like that three stone is somebody's kitchen in the in the village i'm telling you i'm looking for charcoal what i do is i added charcoal on those um things that i took from that tree looking for charcoal i was struggling to find charcoal because i removed those charcoal and throw away there were a lot that charcoal okay I was bending actually. 
then I go to a pounding that portable pounding then I crush everything I mix everything I was removing the charcoal first but it doesn't really matter okay it doesn't matter anyway they are going to be mixed I was just showing you in case you didn't know that I mix the charcoal with those ones then just mix it very well very well very well some of those terms i only know it in my language if i have to explain this in my language it will be perfect but for the love of my audience let me just try to to nourish and uh, sorososa english so that's how they look like the mixture of the two the charcoal and the other things that i took from that tree then i set up the fire i put water and then i put that mixture in the pot so here it's a note you don't put those things in the pot you just you take some useless tin somewhere and then you boil so for me i i couldn't find the 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 tin i use the pot that is the dry thing i just took that dry from the other other leaf that we were sewing uh weaving area so i wanted to change the color of those to make a different pattern so i took those things leaves that we were weaving before to change the color i put them in the pot while it's boiling I put them proper in the pot and then I just close the pot and go do my business. Then I come back, I open the pot, then we remove the boom. They change the color. That's how we dye. You see how they look like? That's actually how we change the color. To make the pattern okay then you just remove them from the pot then you remove those uh, water or dye thing they will remain like that when you when you touch them <laughs> that color won't change or it won't go to your hands so when we remove them from the water you just remove everything shake the water out and then you put them back into a a close container then they won't get dry then you start using it and create your own pattern that's how they create their own pattern with us you see how beautiful they look guys then you just go with your basket then if you want to use the pattern you can create your own pattern whatever you want then you use those ones if you want to make a pattern i was actually asking her that beautiful woman there like who <laughs> who taught you guys how to make this then she was just explaining no those old people they were smart like they were having those like um the bone smartness i'm like yo they were thinking me even those like coloring things i'm like yo those people were never even educated in the stuff that the oshuambo or african people do ne? it's amazing it's amazing i'm like wow so you guys please that is the finish if she wanted the pattern she can do the pattern that is the final thing so you guys remember i love you all to the moon and back please don't forget to like share and comment let me know what you guys think about this video so see you in my next one bye